Hello and welcome to another Frank Walters tutorial. Today we're going to create a frame around the photo. This lesson is pretty easy, so let's just jump right in. Let's press Command J on the keyboard to duplicate our images layer. Very good. Now we want to activate the crop tool. Let's press C on the keyboard. Let's come over to the tool options area over here. And we want to add 300 pixels to the width and to the height. The way you do that is to the right of the PX, you click on it, click on it again, and you type plus 300 and press the return key. Also for the height, come over here to the right of the PX, type plus 300, and the software will add 300 pixels to the height. Press the return key. There you go. Come down to the bottom of the Tool Options pane and press Apply. Okay, let's look at our photo. Our photo is now in the center and it is surrounded by a transparent frame. We don't want transparent, we want white. So I'm gonna zoom out of the photo a little bit by squeezing two fingers on my trackpad. There you go. Now the way that I like to do this, I like to use the rectangle tool and click and drag a rectangle over the entire photo. So come down here to the tools where the rectangle is and click on it. And then we're going to click and drag a rectangle over the entire photo. My color is red, but that's okay. Look over here in the tool options area where it has at the top, it says rectangle here. So we know we're working with the rectangle and come down here to where it says fill and click on the color well here and we can change it to white. Click on the fill again. Now, this is not much of a frame, so we wanna come over to the layer sidebar and click and drag the rectangle layer below the duplicated layer. So click and drag. So you see that blue line up here? And then release. Very good. Now you wanna press the escape key on your keyboard and that removes those guides around the picture. And we are done. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's fast, it's easy. That's what's awesome about using Pixelmator Pro. It's just this program is so wonderful to use. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll also leave a hyperlink to the photo that we use in this picture in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.